Okay, so hello everybody, Jordan Johnson here at Carving Fusion. So today what I'm going to do is uh, I tried carving this um, koi fish uh, sun and waves on a live video yesterday. It didn't happen, it was just a uh, terrible internet, I guess, or Wi-Fi or connection. So I use it on my data. But uh, so I'm going to finish this piece today. It's going to be so shugi uh, pooped her pants. So so shugi bad is... An old Japanese technique, they say that they used to burn the outsides of their house. They were wood and the wood would, uh, the burning would preserve the wood. So that's what we're going to do here. And uh, so first of all, I'm going to clean this up. This is Douglas fir, a very hard piece of Douglas fir, bone dry. Um, I got to reshape this moon, get it to look more like a moon. This is just a, it's just an art piece. It's just kind of going to be like a silhouette of a fish, a moon and waves, right? It's not going to be any detail. And uh, I'll just show you how I'm going to show, show Suzuki shit her pants it, and we'll just get her done and carry on. So, yep, that's it. So I'll clean it up and get this moon reshaped, I guess. I got it drawn on there. And um, no sense wasting time. Let's just get to it. It's like a friggin' sauna in here today. Anyways. Okay, so I'm going to use my little uh, battery saw, MS-140. With the eight inch cannon bar on here with oh, it's quarter pitch chain. The gauge is 043 gauge. It's thinner. The, the gauge is these things here. They're thinner. Anyways, oh. you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really looking forward to finishing this piece because, well, I just don't want to, but I have to. So that's what you got to do, right? kind of warped and shit but I don't care okay so what I'm going to do with this piece now is I'm going to run around and clean it up with this uh, burr on here this is a cut saw quarter inch burr on a Fordham uh, flex shaft okay so I'm just going to run around clean it up I don't want to make everything too fancy like I said no details just a basic outline of a koi fish sun and the water so anyways I'll get that done and I'll be back Okay, so there was a, a reason why I knew I didn't want to come in here today. I was getting too aggressive with the piece. I once put a screw through here, so it kind of split the wood, and it broke off. That's my own fault. So anyways, anyways, it's a goddamn joke, but it's, it is what it is. You want to hear me swear? Because I swear like crazy right now, but I guess I'll burn this piece really good. And then I'll burn this piece really good. And then I'll uh, fucking bullshit. That's what I'll fucking do. Fuck! Anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll burn this piece really good. And burn this piece really good. And then, uh, yeah, I can fuck right off. That's basically it because the show Sugi bad, it's going to show up here if I glue it or whatever. You're going to, you're going to fucking, you're going to see where it's burnt. So anyways, I don't know. I need to have a drink of coffee, I guess. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Okay, so you see I got uh, both sides burnt here. So wish the show Susie 
shitter pants. I could have burnt a bit deeper in there. Um, I don't even know why I'm continuing going on with this piece, but I just don't want to quit on it. It just could be a complete waste. So there's the connection where it broke. So it just kind of looks like a crack in the wood. So, but now what I'm going to do with this, these are nylon wheels. You can get these on my Amazon store. If you go to the, to, into the, uh, hit the little arrow on the right, a whole menu will show up. And you'll see like uh, my Amazon store, you can get like sets of three of these for I think 30 bucks Canadian. So there's a softer grit, there's a harder grit, then there's a real hard grit. So you don't use sandpaper when you do it, if when you want to want to get get the show Susie shitter pants effect, because you want to see the layers of the grain, right? So this part's the part that sucks. Because you gotta use this. This is a drill attachment uh, my buddy Pete got for me. Because you see these these ends of these things are like drill bits, right? They just go in your drill. See that squared? So that's all you just go to the hardware store and get yourself a drill extender. So anyways. Okay, so I did that one handed. So the more that you go over this with these, with these, the more that you go over what you're gonna get the whites to pop out. So there's always a soft spot and a hard spot in the grain. So the white stuff the soft and the dark stuff's the hard spot. So how about I get this all done? I did burn the moon here on purpose, so it kind of so it's just not such a square edge. So you'll see a dent there and a dent up there. So I'm gonna put my dust mask on. I'll get this all done and I'll be back. I just wanted to stop for a second and show you guys all the cedar rails that I got yesterday. I did a live video on Facebook, but these are all going to be pumpkins. Western red cedar, it's pretty dry. I got 25 pieces. <laughs> yep. So anyways, um, I want to suggest when you guys are doing the Shosugi van, um, always try and find a good piece of wood. Like this wood has bug holes in it. So you see that? That's what happens. Okay. Bug holes. It's just like even that there is a bug hole. You know, because if you're going to take your time and do a piece like this, you want to start off with a good piece. Me yesterday, I just got here and I wanted to carve. So I said, screw it. I'm going to carve a koi fish theme for the for the, the Elements Challenge on Facebook. Our group, Carving Fears of World of Wood Carvers. So... Always take your time. This is my fault. Always take your time and try, use a piece of wood that's got wide grain because that's, see those effects there? Don't pay attention to those holes there. But you see the dark and the light, dark, light, dark, light. The wider the grain that you use, the better effect you're going to get of this, right? It's going to be wider, white, wider, dark, wider, white, dark, wider, dark, you know? So, and, um, and another thing too is, well, I just don't know. Take your time cleaning it up. Go over it. Oh, yeah. Another thing, too. Don't always do face grain, okay? You guys, I, I don't want to get into it, but you guys can Google face grain or edge grain. When you use, when you do face grain, you get the effects like this, like, like this right here, okay? That's face grain. All this is face grain. But when you do edge grain, you're only going to get an effect like that. You're only going to get effect with the lines, right? That's edge grain right here. This is face grain. Where you do where you carve into the layers, right? So example, this is edge grain. You're only gonna see lines, right? It's not that it's not that appealing. But when you carve the face grain, you get these effects, right? So just Google it. Um, anyways, so I got to uh, figure out how what I'm gonna do next. You guys. Look at this piece of bark I found uh, with when I was, took my nephew fishing yesterday. This is cottonwood bark. Where's tape measure? What the hell's that? 
spider. Oh, I hate spiders. This piece is two feet four inches by oh, five inches thick this way and uh, four and a half inches at the back. Anyways, I guess you guys want to see the finished piece. So, um, I want to give some words of encouragement here, okay? This is what it is. Make sure you guys are in the full screen. So I got some pallet boards and I burnt them. I cut them up with a chainsaw. Uh, I burnt them and I, I spray painted them red. This is not treated yet. I'll spray it with some lacquer when I get home. Um, but here, let me think about what I could say for words of encouragement because this piece uh, means a lot to me. It just shows, uh, what's the words? Um, sorry, guys, I'm not the best with words I want to try and say because of my injury. First of all, for all you guys that don't know, I have a brain injury um, from 12 year, 11 years ago, 11 years ago now, and I suffer from it every day. But doing something like this helps me, okay? It's called perseverance. That's the word I was looking for. This thing broke, okay? And I left it so it looks broken, okay? It's broke right there because this is my art, okay? And I myself am broken. I have a piece of skull missing this big in my head. You know, I got a piece of plastic in my hat to act as my skull. Not to go on about it. I don't want to talk about it over and over again, but it's perseverance, Adapt and move on. Carry on. I adapted and I carried on. You know, when you carve in koi fish, um, another subject, when you carve in the koi fish, it's the old thing saying, well, if it's, you've got to make the koi fish going up because it's going up towards heaven. It's good luck if it goes up. It's bad luck if it's aimed down because that's hell, right? That's just a myth. I've done lots of research on it. That's just a myth. You can put your koi fish any which way you want. But you're going to have a better chance selling your koi fish if it's going up, right? So when I first started painting, I still have one of my paintings at home. I'll show you after. It's called uh, Rise Above. It's a koi fish. It's called Rise Up, Rise the Rising Above. It's rising above all your challenges. You know, like getting through. My challenges is my injury. Some of you guys have, might have a hurt leg, a hurt arm, a bad heart. You know, um, just some anything bad that's not healthy, you might have that challenge. But it's about finding something to rise above. You know, rise above it. Perseverance and carry on. Just get her done. That's what I did. I was going to burn this piece. I, when it broke, you guys saw part of my language here. I was like, ah, fucking piece of shit. Because I didn't choose the proper wood when I first started this piece, okay? But I said, nope, this is for the admins for Carving Fusion. I just want to say thank you very much for your hard work. The group's getting bigger. It's like 4,600 4, people now. And it's a lot of work because we want to keep that uh, carving fusion world of wood carvers. We want to keep that group not spammy, no hate speech or nothing. We, so it's a lot of work. Then we got a chainsaw carving group. Hi, Steve Kanzora. Um, he, chainsaw carving of fusion. He's the admin there. And it's a lot of work to run a group. So for the admins for carving fusion, the elements challenge that they're having on Facebook, this is going to go to one of the admins. I want them to have this piece. This is from my heart. I'm sweating my friggin' ass off in this tent right now. I've been sweating my ass off all day to get this stupid thing done. It's not so stupid anymore. And it's a piece of me, guys, coming to you. So whoever wins this piece out of you guys, the admins, this is the pretend. Think of this as koi fish as me, okay? I'm broken, but I'm rising above. Okay, anybody that has an injury can rise above. So I'm not going to keep on rambling and try and be inspiration because, well, I might, I might sound like bullshit. I don't know, but I'm sweating my ass off. It's time to go home, have a hot bath. Yeah, I have baths. Anyways, I won't get into why I have baths. I don't care if it's 200 degrees. I'll, I'll still have a hot bath because that's my time. So this is the piece, guys. Shosugi shitter so shoesy sh so shoesy sh let's try it one more time so Susie so Susie shitter pants yeah so Susie shitter pants so this is piece is called rise above too I think I call something else rise above too but I'm gonna write on the back I've already 
Jordy Johnson, J2001, and I'm going to call this piece Rise Above 3, okay? It's just about rising above. It's all done. Whoever wins this, you're going to have to put a hanger on this yourself. I'm not dealing with that crap. Thanks for the support, everybody, in this channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Car Infusion, over and out. There you go, just carved Rob. Water. Fire. Hope everybody's good. And uh, once again, everybody, thanks for the challenge and uh, thanks for making me challenge myself because, well, this was a challenge. So this is going to be going to one of the admins in uh, Carving Fusion. So, and it was me that challenged them all, not just Carve Rob. But damn you anyways, just Carve Rob. Damn you. Damn you. Hey, Lee. Oh, oh even Lee's done. Damn you, Lee. <laughs> uh...